morning children. Today in our maths class, we will take up division. When we share anything equally, we divide. And the symbol for division is a horizontal line with a dot on top and another dot below the line. Let's take a simple division sum. 25 divided by 5. Here, 25 is called the dividend. 5 is the divisor. The answer that you get here is known as quotient. So let's divide. 5 goes into 25 5 times. 5 Five are twenty-five. Subtract. Five minus five, zero. Two minus two, zero. Zero here is known as the remainder. Let's take another example. 79 divided by 4. 4 goes into 7 once. 4 ones are 4. Subtract 4 from 7. You get the answer 3. Bring down the 9. This is 39. 4 goes into 39. How many times? 9 times. 4 nines are 36. Subtract 36 from 39. 9 minus 6. 3. 3 minus 3. 0. So here we see. 19 is the quotient and 3 is the remainder. One thing to remember is division and multiplication are the opposite of each other. For example, 2 multiplied by 3 equals 6 and 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Another example, 5 multiplied by 10 equals 50 and 50 divided by 5 equals 10. Another thing to remember is there are two division facts for every single multiplication fact. For example, 5 multiplied by 7 equals 35. The division fact for this is 35 divided by 5 equals 7 and 35 divided by 7 equals 5. Take another example. 9 multiplied by 8 equals 72. The division fact for this is 72 divided by 9 equals 8 and 72 divided by 8 equals 9. We can also do division as repeated subtraction. So if we divide 6 balls equally among 3 children, how many balls do you think each child will get? 2. Let's do the 
sum using repeated subtraction method. How many balls are there? Six balls. Give two to the first child. You are left with four. Give two to the second child. You're left with two. Give another two to the third child. And you're left with zero balls. So how many times did we subtract? We subtracted three times. Now let us look at some properties of division. Property number one. When a number is divided by itself, the quotient is one. Example, eight divided by eight equals one. 195 divided by 195 equals one. Property number two. When a number is divided by one, the quotient is the number itself. 9 divided by 1 equals 9. 27 divided by 1 equals 27. The third property. When 0 is divided by any number, the quotient is 0. Example. 0 divided by 4 equals 0. 0 divided by 85 equals 0. Property number 4. 0 divided by 0 has no meaning because a number cannot be divided by 0. Property number 5. In 35 divided by 4, 7 equals 5. 35 is the dividend. 7 is the divisor. And 5 is the quotient. Let's do a story problem. 824 saris were packed in 4 boxes equally. Find the number of saris in each box. Solution. Remember to write your statements correctly. Number of saris, 824. Number of boxes, 4. Therefore, number of saris in each box equals 824 divided by 4. When you divide 824 by 4, your quotient is 206 and the remainder is 0. Final answer, each box has 206 signs. Thank you. Have a good day.